I've said this probably a million times now when talking about diuretics. Every time someone dies from diuretics, I, I do the same diatribe and people, some people listen, some people don't. There's only one diuretic that you should be using out there, okay? And it's more than effective enough that you don't need any other one, and that's diazide. Now, there's different generic versions. It's two drugs. It's hydrochlorothiazide and triamterene. Okay, there's a version in Europe called Modiretic. It's, it's, it's um, hydrochlorothiazide and um, amylaride. It does the same thing. One, the hydrochlorothiazide is, 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 is forces potassium and sodium out of the body and thus water. The triamterene makes you retain potassium. So the combined effect is that you only lose sodium and water. If you take too much of the stuff, okay, and you start cramping, the only thing that, that, that could possibly be wrong is that you have too much sodium loss. You've lost too much salt in your body. And you just can consume salt and you fix the problem. Okay? It's a very simple um, fix if anything goes wrong. And it's very, very definable in the sense that it doesn't work too fast, but it works fast enough that you, you, it's very predictable in how it works. It, in other words, it doesn't work more better on certain people and less on other people. It works pretty consistently. Um, the other options, diuretic-wise, would be your strong, strong loop diuretics that have no um, potassium sparing effects. That would be your Lasix, or also known as furosemide, Demodex, and there's, there's other ones out there as well. Okay, those just, the problem with them is that they work, but a lot of them work too fast. And sometimes when you work, when you pull water too fast, sometimes it comes out of the muscle too. So you can flatten yourself out really quickly. Um, also, because they pull sodium and potassium out of the body, if you do cramp, okay, which happens a lot, okay, to people, you don't know what to put back in. Should I add sodium or should I add potassium or should I add both? Um, if you have enough potassium and you add more, you can make the, 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 the cramping worse because now you're putting a potassium overload. Potassium overloads cause death, okay? We don't want to do that, okay? So it's less fixable. The third option is what we call aldactone, which is a purely potassium-sparing diuretic. And a lot of people, for some reason, like to use it multiple days. And I'll tell you why. If you read the package insert, it's actually been, it give, they give it to women who have androgenic side effects from whether anything, from, from natural hormone production or from taking steroids. They give it to them because after 10 days, aldactone acts like an anti-androgen. It actually blocks the androgenic effects of, of, um, uh, of steroids or testosterone in their body. So if women are getting like hair loss or thinning or they're getting, a, you know, breakouts or hair on their face, a lot of times they'll give them aldactone to inhibit that. So for some reason, people took that 10-day or 7-day um, you know, um, effect that this aldactone has on anti-androgenation, and they applied it that that's how you have to use uh, aldactone. But you really don't. I mean, if you used aldactone for one or two days, you'd get the same diuretic effects. You don't need to use it more. Matter of fact, more is not good because it actually acts as an anti-androgen. The problem is that if the longer you're on aldactone, the more and more you're building up potassium in your system. Because it's, remember, it's potassium sparing, okay? And the problem is, okay, because it's potassium sparing, if you cramp on aldactone, you don't want to take more potassium. And you don't want to eat potassium-rich foods like potatoes and bananas because, which is what a lot of guys do, they eat a lot of uh, potatoes, because that makes the potassium overload worse. And if you get too much potassium in your, in your system, you can stop your heart, okay? So you don't want a lot of potassium. So actually, the antidote for too much aldactone is actually to give someone Lasix to actually push the potassium out of the body. And that's something that a lot of people don't understand how to fix. So it's not an easy fix. Also, if you cramp on aldactone, okay, because you're losing sodium too, okay, you can't reabsorb sodium because aldactone blocks the hormone aldosterone. And aldosterone's job is to reabsorb sodium and water. So here you are taking this mild, what you think is a mild diuretic, okay, you're accumulating too much potassium in your system, you're losing sodium, you start cramping, you don't know what's causing the cramping, so you try to eat salt, but you can't absorb the salt because you've blocked aldact uh, aldosterone in your body. Meanwhile, so you say, well, maybe it's a, 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 I'm eating salt, it's not fixing it, let me take some potassium, which is the worst thing to do, because now you're overloading your body with more potassium and you can stop your heart. So both diuretics, the, the strong loops, and the aldactone are not good options. Do people use them? All the time. Why? Because they don't understand the simple science of this. Diazide is all you need to use. And if you can't lose enough water, the water you're holding or you think you're holding, 
prior to a show within 24 hours, then something is wrong. You're doing something way, way wrong, okay? Because it only takes 18 to 20 hours to really dry out, you know, efficiently. And I think you can do it in 12. So really, you shouldn't be taking diazide any more than 24 hours before a show. Having said that, will everyone, will people listen to me? 50% of the people listening here will say that's ingenious, I understand it, I'm gonna listen. The other 50% will go and do exactly what they were doing before and they'll have the same problems. That, that's the reality of the situation.